classifying living things. Hi, this slideshow was made by my brother, and I decided to update it and make it into a screencast. Today we'll be talking about classifying living things. Do you know the difference between plants and fungi? Why do scientists name living things using genus and species? Well, get ready to find the answers to these questions and more as we cover the topic of classifying living things. <coughs> There are seven levels for classifying living things. Kingdom, <clears throat> phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Now let's look at a, an example of a rather surprising animal in the depths of the ocean. For example, here's how to classify a great white shark. Can you guess what the genus and species are for the great white shark? It's Carcharodon carcharius. It's alright if you don't know the answer, but we'll talk more about genus and species later in the show. The five kingdoms. Bacteria, fungi, plants, animals, and protists. Bacteria. <laughs> Bacteria reproduce through the binary fission. Sorry, I did not mention this before. Every living thing fits into one of these five categories. Think of any living thing and see if you can figure out which kingdom it fits into. I'll check back in a few minutes. Humans are in the animal kingdom. Fungi. That was the fly agaric mushroom, and it was a, um, it was a fungi of sorts. Plants. Any organism that uses photosynthesis to make its own food is a plant. Animals. And that was the ant colony time lapse. Protist amoeba. This is an amoeba in motion. And that's our time limit on Amobia. 
Um, so, were you able to put your living thing into a category? Great! Oh. Oh, never mind. And now, we are going to introduce a man who I think made a difference in the way we think about science. A classifying role model, Carlos Linnaeus! who lived from 1707 to 1778. He, ident he attempted to identify every plant and animal. He also established binomial nomenclature to bring clarity to discussions of organisms. That was random. Genus and species. The gene! Daddy, look at the dots. Okay. Um, the genus of a camel is Camelus. The species is Dromedarius. Another way to say genus and species is binomial nomenclature. Binomial nomenclature. Scientists and regular people identify living things by their genus and species. Binomial nomenclature is how scientists refer to living things. Why do we call um, prairie dogs dogs and jellyfish fish when they aren't? Uh, do scientific names help prevent confusion? Oh, um, the, the I was supposed to, t oh, whatever. Um, uh, I'll give you a minute to think about it. As you can see, using an organism's unique scientific name helps scientists to be sure they're talking about the same organism. And yes, <clears throat> tiny baby corgi dogs are not tiny baby um, groundhogs. Finally, this mnemonic device is one way to remember the order of classification. King Philip came over for good spaghetti is one way to say kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. If this device is too complicated, here are two more. Kings play costly office fondue game sessions. And kangaroos pay cats of foreign gambling strategies. Yeah. Whether you're in... God, there's dots for a reason. It means, like, wait till I'm finished with everything. But, um, whether you're in middle school, high school, or even college, it's important to remember the seven levels for classifying living things. Picture credits! Um... Thanks to the people who took these photos. They're great. And also thanks to the beginning song after the first slide, which is from uh, Circle Round. <laughs> That's all, folks. Thanks for watching my slideshow on Living Things. I'm going to end with a joke. Oh, I forgot to introduce you to my sound effects guy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> so, um, I'll end with a joke. Hey, sound effects dude. Is your refrigerator running? No. Oh, too bad. I really wanted to play ketchup. 
Oh, well. Uh, that's just your opinion. Thanks for listening. I already said this, but whatever. Thanks for watching my slideshow on living things. Woohoo! Oops.